This is Missy Green with Nutrition Insight. I'm here with Henry Ye, who's the general manager at PB Liner Asia. Welcome, Henry. Thank you. Nice meeting you. So what are some of the trends you're seeing today in collagen in the Chinese market? Well, in China, I think uh, the consumption of collagen is really uh, increasing. Uh, both aging people in China are getting more, and also younger generation pay much more attention uh, to their health. Well, for the ladies, uh, pay much more attention to the skin. Well, the uh, the others, they also uh, pay much more attention to the sports nutrition. Okay. Would you say that collagen is a mega trend in China? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And um, what are some of the latest innovations that PB Liner has come out with that are addressing the demand? Well, because we pay much more attention to the safety of the product, because um, the safety is very important for the end, end consumers to make uh, to ensure that people have the safe uh, product to really help uh, be helpful to their health. So we pay much more attention to the safety. Uh, so that's why uh, we really stuck, uh, stick to uh, the strict uh, traceability of the uh, whole supply chain. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, because we have a very uh, strict uh, procedure from the uh, raw material side to uh, uh, our production. We have a very strict uh, in-process control and the quality uh, assurance, everything according to the strict uh, SOP. And we're not only doing according to the Chinese national standard, because we're a multinational company, we're doing it according to the international standard. So did you say that you also farm your own fish? Well, actually, our company uh, producing, uh, our plant uh, producing the fish collagen is a joint venture. Uh, why we have a joint venture is because uh, our partner, they are doing the fish feed, then do their own fish farm, and then they do the fish processing. And then we have the full traceability of the raw materials. So you can say, yes, it's done, uh, the fish farming is done by ourselves. Okay. And who's that partnership with? Our partner is the biggest tilapia fish processing company in China. Okay. And their market, their fish fillet is exporting to EU and the US. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the fish fillet goes to the EU and the US, and then you're able to take what's left over for your collagen production? Yeah, uh, the scale and the skin. So we take, uh, take over the skin and the skill to produce the uh, high-value collagen. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the applications that you're seeing now, some of the formats coming out? Is there anything new or trending to speak about? Well, I think uh, the trend is actually mainly coming from U.S., then to Europe, then to Asia. Because uh, in Asia, okay, fish collagen mainly for skin, skin health, while for sports nutrition, now it's getting more popular because it's coming from Europe and coming from the U.S. So Asia is actually learning the kind of a trend from the U.S. And, and Europe. I always thought that the U.S. and Europe were taking this collagen trend from China. Well, not necessarily. Huh? Uh, you can see uh, collagen actually is quite, quite popular in U.S. and uh, Europe market, but mainly for sports nutrition. Uh, in U.S. and Europe, it is regarded as kind of uh, food. But in Asia, particularly in China, it's regarded as kind of a, a healthy nutrition, nutraceutical product. So that's why sometimes in China the dosage uh, our customer taking is a little bit less. Why in U.S. and Europe they're taking more? Because people believe it's a normal food. So that's why Asia is also growing, and people also learned from Europe, Europe and the uh, U.S. how to take this kind of uh, healthy product. Is there any specific advantage to using fish collagen over other types of collagen? It's, it's culture difference. U.S., you guys uh, eat lots of steak. So in Europe, pig and, uh, and beef are, are mixed. But in Asia, people more like fish. Because in Asia, we have kind of saying, uh, if you eat the meat of animals better, uh, two eggs, uh, animal is better than four eggs. But the animal without feet, uh, without uh, feet or without leg, is better than um, the animal with feet or a leg. So that's why you know it's kind of culture, culture uh, reason. Uh. Asian people more like fish, uh, particularly also relate to the raw material availability, because in the past Asia is not that rich. 
So uh, the raw material availability is very limited. So this which uh, people can catch, can catch the fish from the from the river, from the sea, right? And now fish is getting more expensive. So that's why um, our product is also the cost is not cheap, eh? but we can create a big value.